All right, everyone. So I think we'll get started today. Uh, I want to thank everyone for coming, um, and especially want to thank my co-organizers, co uh, Andy Tiger at MGH and Mike Pensiero from uh, NIAID, um, and also to thank our sponsors for today, um, the Reagan Institute of MGH, MIT, and Harvard, uh, the Division of AIDS under NIAID, and especially the uh, Harvard University Center for AIDS Research, who for us actually helped to really uh, sponsor some of the early studies in the humanized mouse model and help get that program up and going here. Um, now, as many of you know, since the mid-80s, there's been a, a, an effort to try to develop small animal models for HIV. Um, and those efforts have, have met with uh, mixed success over the years. Um, however, recent advances in, in tissue engraftment and the delivery of uh, hematopoietic stem cells have really started to revolutionize the potential of that model. And that's really what we're here about today, to hear some uh, studies and stories from researchers uh, across the country uh, and also from Germany about some of the recent advances in this model and try to start to get a feel for the potential of this um, humanized mouse model start to advance HIV vaccine research design and, and as well as pathogenesis studies. Um, and our goal today of bringing together these researchers is really to um, help to demonstrate the utility of that model and see how much we can really um, move this model forward understand the strengths and weaknesses of the model, um, but to also really use it to help advance uh, HIV vaccine research design. Um, and a few housekeeping notes for the day. Um, in session two, we're going to have a switch of the two talks, just the order of those two talks, uh, between Torsten and Andrew. Um, but overall, <coughs> excuse me, um, there are going to be four sessions for the day. Uh, there will be two in the morning. Um, session one is going to be chaired by Bruce Walker, and that's on HIV-specific uh, immunity in humanized mice, um, followed by a coffee break. And the second session was going to be focused on modeling HIV transmission and early dissemination, and that's going to be chaired by Paul Johnson. Uh, we'll have a lunch break, and then in the afternoon, we're going to have two additional sessions. Uh, session three, uh, chaired by Larissa, is going to be on modeling novel therapeutic approaches to control HIV. Um, and then session four will be uh, a wrap-up with uh, future directions and applications for humanized mice. And if we have time, we'll follow that by a short uh, roundtable discussion um, by the speakers and chairs um, regarding some of the opportunities and challenges of this model going forward. Um, and with that, I'll turn it over to Bruce uh, for chairing this first session. Um, and I think we've got a lineup of uh, Andy Tagger, uh, myself, uh, Jerry Zach, and Judy Chang. Um, uh, and really the focus here is to, to look at HIV specific immunity in humanized mice and try to get a, uh, lay a foundation here for what's been known about the ability of these mice to mount responses against HIV um, before we dig into some of the other sessions about some of the more specifics. Um, so Great. we turn that over to Bruce. Okay. Great. Thanks a lot, Todd. Um, I, I want to just uh, also second what, what Todd said. It was really the CIFAR that allowed us to become engaged in this area of research, and I, I think is a great example of how the, the, the CIFAR can really change a, a, a 